For years, Marine Le Pen has talked about making France great again. And since announcing her candidacy for the presidential elections, she's begun to outline how she would tackle the country's deep economic problems. Many of her policies sound remarkably like those that took Donald Trump to the White House. One of her priorities is what she describes as intelligent protectionism. In other words, promoting French companies overseas while shielding them from competition. No country has ever succeeded to build its industry without protecting it. Theories, systems and models are useless. Reality counts. Everywhere, jobs are being brought back. And like Trump, she also wants to tax French companies that import overseas goods. All products from factories that were moved abroad and re-imported in France could be taxed up to 35%. Le Pen's party has said it'll make companies who hire foreigners, including EU citizens, pay a tax of 10% of their salaries. But the policy that has spooked investors the most is her plan to leave the euro currency and bring back the franc. She's described the euro as a corpse that's still moving and said it's a matter of when, not if, such an exit would take place under her rule. Her main centre-right rival, François Fillon, has been bruised by allegations that he misused public funds. Latest polls suggest that the relatively untested centrist candidate, Emmanuel Macron, would make it to the second round of the election on May the 7th to face Le Pen. He's promised to cut up to 120,000 civil service jobs and boost government spending by more than $50 billion. The big question facing investors and wage earners alike is whether those messages will capture the public's imagination in the same way that Le Pen's fiery rhetoric already appears to be doing. Azhar Sukri, TRT World. Well, let's go live to Paris now. Our editor at large, Craig Capitas, is in the French capital. Uh, Craig, uh, her message is basically that the elite have been taking, a uh, French word indeed, uh, taking the people for a ride for long enough. This isn't something new, although it's, you know, capturing the attention in a new and improved way, if you like. But it does go back uh, some generations, doesn't it? It goes back decades, Matthew. There, what you're seeing, hopefully, uh, uh, on screen right now is some footage of Pierre Pujade, who is the, essentially the founder of the National Front back in the late 50s and early 60s. Uh, Pujad started a tax revolt in the South. He made it to the French Parliament, and his chief bodyguard was Marine Le Pen's father. And what Pujadism, what Pujad said, and it still continues today, he saw France as two distinct worlds, what the French called le pays légal and le pays real, basically the rulers and the ruled. Now, the rulers were, on one side, were affluent, venal, secular, sophisticated individuals. The other side were pious, honest, frugal, and hardworking. And that's the battle you're seeing played out now. It's a philosophy born of what the French called the desert, the French desert, the uh, stagnant lower half of the country, and it has empowered the National Front for decades. Uh, Craig, she said, and we heard that in the report, it's over for companies with nas without nationalities and globalised individuals. I mean, she fits right in with Brexit, with Trump, that kind of message. If people like Le Pen and Trump and, uh, and, and the people behind Brexit, the Brexiteers, keep getting their way, what will the world look like? Well, the World Economic Forum can file for bankruptcy after the French elections if this happen, happens. Earlier today, Le Pen was giving a speech to a bunch of eco economic leaders here in Paris, and she said that her economic agenda was focused exclusively on small and medium-sized businesses, what she called the supporting walls of the French economy. This is pure nationalism. She added, quote, I have nothing in particular against big business. I just don't think they need me. Now, that's certainly true, because as Azar's report uh, pointed out, if she gets in, big business is going to be paying a lot of money to continue in this country. And how popular is her promise to leave the euro, the eurozone and bring back the franc? And, and what would be the point? Well, it, it goes back to what we were talking about, the rulers and the ruled. Her, Marine Le Pen's core base comes from towns and villages 
uh, throughout the country whose, whose people are, are testaments to what the fr French exceptionalism, uh, uh, la patria, the mother, the mother country. These are, these are very strong nationalist people who feel that they have been left behind and the grandeur of France that they were promised has not been fulfilled. And, and they do not think in the same terms as, as those who rule the country. And to prove this, this point, uh, uh, Matthew, there was a poll just a few weeks ago taken here by Transparency International that showed 54% of the French electorate believe they're elite. The people Le Pen is going after are corrupt. Right. That is a significant number. Craig Capitas in Paris, thank you for the analysis.